Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, so, I got to think of how I got to put this. Okay, that's how I put it. In my last video, simple little fix of a 15 horsepower and uh, Evan Root, you understand. And then I thought, what am I going to bring in here? And I asked you guys and several of you weighed in and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. But you know, I've always kind of felt that sometimes, in some certain situations, you are not con in charge of your decision making. You know what I mean? That's happened to me once or twice before, you understand? Well, it happened again. And you say, what do you mean? You just go out there and grab an outboard. Whichever one. Bring it in. No. It don't work that way with me. It, it never does. When I wake up and I think, here's how my day's going to go. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's the motor I'm going to choose. Here's the... Most likely never works out that way for me. Well... What does all this have to do with an outboard? I show you. I show you. I show you. Let's look. That's how I get them a lot of times, folks. There's the dumpster. There's the truck. And there's the outboard with a couple of nice wooden boxes, too. So. Okay, so you saw how I I happened to come a punkst amongst the punks this motor. Well, it often happens just like that. Now at one point in this outboard's lifetime, this outboard was in the hands of the commercial fishermen. How do I know? Oh, the signs. You've got to recognize the signs. I know the signs. I show you. I show you. Okay. Now, when I tried to pull it over there at the dumpster, I thought it was froze. Now here's something a little interesting. Can you see what it says right there? 
it says 1978 Ohio Outboard Mota. And it looks like there used to be some numbers right here, some digits. So I don't know the laws and rules in Ohio, but boy, I can always think, wow, wouldn't it be neat if this was a freshy water motor? I don't get a lot of them in my parts. I understand. But, yeah. Okay. Now getting back, you said, well first, like I said, when I went to pull it over, it was just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. But I guess the starter was just, because it does indeed pull over. It's probably just been sitting for a while. I'm waiting for that creepy crawly. He gonna come out. I'm, I'm ready for him. I'm waiting for that old creepy crawly to come out. L78V is Invicta. Ain't that one of them? Uh, we'll have to pull one of these plugs and look at them. You gotta be kidding me. What does that say? Anyway, we'll look. I think that's these plugs that are permagap. Maybe not. I know they used them in a 9 9 at some point. CDI ignition, got both coils. I ain't gonna say it looks fresh water, but it don't look bad for its age. The motor mounts are a little shaky, but you know, it's a it's a six horse. It's oh you say you said it was at one time owned by the commercial fisherman. How you know that? Ah, <laughs> I show you. I'm gonna put you down just a little bit better. See here? See this custom? See this beautiful custom all up in here? That's commercial fisherman stuff right there. I know it is, because I've seen it before. That's commercial fisherman custom. See, they broke the tiller, which is probably this bracket under here, which means we got... We'll get to that. But look at the custom repair. You see, this is how you know the commercial guy's been in there. Because, see, he fixed it with the drill bit. You see? The dr drill bit. It's a drill bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. I'll clean the rust and put in some vinegar. The, the drill bit. <laughs> yeah, see, this is, this is custom commercial fisherman here. Right here. That's how they do it. Just like that. So... So, yeah, we all broke through here, broke through there. So I'll either have to get somebody to weld this or make a bracket. Convert it over to cable, maybe? But yeah, it, it had the custom. Oh, you guys in there? I think so. So yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, she's a little sticky here, too. So, this one's going to be more than an O-ring, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a little more than a, an O-ring. But, man, what a gift, huh? Okay. Let's look at these Spock candles. Let's look at the candles. What a little cutie. I know it. I show you. I show you. Who makes these things? These ain't champ. Oh. I got lectured on about these before. I don't see these in a lot of outboards up here. I don't have a problem with them. They're the right ones. Um, as far as I can, I'm going by memory here. 
but the what it says it's supposed to have in here is the Champion L78 Victor. And I thought that was these Permagat style. A little bit of black yucky yuck in there. Same with that one. But looky here. Now what does that tell you? See that number? Du -du -du -dun, du -du -du -dun. There it is. A tow light. I don't see a lot of the auto light plugs. But I like them. They look like I got a... Is that stainless? Yeah. Nah. No. It's not. Hence the rust. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure they're fine. We clean them up. We clean them up, man. But, well, we can do a sparky check. Let's get a spider. We just go ahead on since we're here. Since we're here, and do us. Now, the lower on this really stiff. When I went to put it in out of gear, it will go in and out of gear. She's fairly stiff, but we're going to pop, you know, it's, that lower is going to have to come, this thing is going to have to come to bits, I'm sure. We'll take her to the bits. Oh, you guys ain't going to be able to see it there, I don't think. Then I got, well, I could just hook right to the spark plug hole, probably. Yeah, looks like it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see then it'll hit that. Yeah, you ought to be able to see. Right in them top two if we got anything. Now the kill switch is the old push button kind right here in the center. So let's see what we get. We got good hog. What do you say? What do you say? Since we're here, do a little bit of the old compressionus. You want us? Spanish? I speak of that Spanish. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead. Since we're right, since we're right here anyway. Now, what I like to do, but we'll do. I mean, it's 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 pulling over okay. I haven't I, this. I just picked up from the beside that dumpster 45 minutes ago. I haven't done anything to it other than what you've seen me do so far on video. I picked it up by the dumpster. Like I said, sometimes it's not my decisions. Are you like that? I'm always like that. I think I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, no, you're going to do this. Okay, we are on the zero. I'm going to try and give it four or five by hand. Let's see what we get. Five good ones. We got 90, 90, 95, 100. 100 on the bottom. For a pull start motor, that's a good number for a small pull start Johnson 6. That's a good number. These cylinders are excessively dry. Now we're in the top. We are on the zero. Give her five good ones. Good ones. Ninety five, a hundred. Hundred top and bottom for a pull start motor. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, this little cutie's gonna need a bunch of work. So I think what I'm gonna do. 
is take a wire brush and clean this fuel connector up and we are gonna now I know I can't throttle it up with the the tiller throttle but uh, I'm gonna squirt some tri flow in it and just hook it up to gas I can always throttle it with the linkage right there just to see look at the motor mounts they're not the best but like I said I don't see any broke they're just old and more tired but I've always found this particular model is kind of like that anyway okay so we're going to take the tri flow we're going to head and squirt that squirt that squirt that squirt squirt everything and then we're going to pop some in the cylinder just to help her come to life one or two shots you know you know in each spark plug hole then i'm going to take these spark candles See all that yuck? See that yuck? See that yuck all on them? I take them to my fine wire wheel. Well, I say I will. Who popped out on it? Cut off. Take these to my fine wire wheel. Clean these up just, you know, a tad. And it only takes a second. Only takes a second. Remember all that rust that was around the edges? That's all gone. And remember all that black yuck? That's all gone. Zip, zip on the wire wheel. Zip, zip. All right. So. We've got some tri-flow shot in these cylinders. And if I can get my big fat feeners in here. My feelers! Stay there. Get my feelers in here. I think I got it. I think I got it. I can't do that with these gloves on. Something looks almost kitty wonk on these coils, but hey, I guess that's how they go. And they're getting sparky wacky. What is it lately with me and spark plugs? Just can't get my fat fingers in there, I guess. There we go. Then we'll get the top in there. Or attempt to. Get these candles in there and then uh I think, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to put it in the tank and see if it'll at least fire over for a little bit before I do everything that's going to, because to replace that broke handle there, tiller set up. Now we don't have to go that route. We can go a bunch of different routes. Sure can. And since I'm here anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Use it. Use it. And I mainly these boots on this thing are all stiff, so I like to put it mostly on the ceramic and then just a wipe on the uh 
the actual electrode part because when these boots are old like that, it helps you get them, get them off and on. They can almost get welded on there, it seems like. That's much nicer than it was. Okay, so now I think let's put it right on up in that tank and see if it will sputter to life rather than sitting beside the dumpster. going in pretty good maybe I don't know it kind of went one pump that probably filled I don't know if it filled that bowl up this needles all kind of kitty want to maybe right about there I don't know I don't know if she'll pop box. start fluid. Tri-flow is a superior lubricant, but at the same time it says extremely flammable. So when I pop start a motor, this is what I use. It's got, hear that rattle? It's got a curl in it. So it's much like having a spray can of the pre-mix. Bye-bye. I'm not going to 
don't give it much gas this time. We'll see if it'll stay running. That's all it's going to do until I get that car up above. So, looks like we got our work cut out for us. Do I go ahead and pull the power head? Do I this? Do I that? But, she definitely will run. Um, yeah. So, the old dumpster on the blocks. Remember it was on them two. Now, I'm going to show you this little hack. It's a little hack. Works sometimes, sometimes don't. What I'm going to do is take this needle out, this top right here out that goes into the transition chamber, your low speed. Take that out. Okay, I'm going to take that out. And the little hack is take you some carby cleaner and shoot right in that top hole there that that needle. Wah! Wah! What's wrong with this thing? What's wrong with this thing? Watch me end up getting a face full of this stuff. You ever got this stuff in your eye? You don't play. Make you run to the eye wash station. And you say, well, why don't you wear the, the glasses? Don't do as I do. Because if you do, okay. Look away. There we go. We got some in there that time. Then, I take my needle gun, air gun thingy here. I'm going to blow some air in there. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. We're right there. And then sometimes that will work to get your old needle or get your uh, gas to flow and blah, 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 blah. I think it's going to do it in this one. I'm going to make sure though that it's even getting through the fuel pump. I'm just loosening a hose clamp that goes from the fuel pump to the reaper. That's all I'm doing. That's all. Just amazes me sometimes how them fuel hoses can get on there. Okay, it's coming out there. Now, since I got this off, I'm gonna squirt a little air in there too. If I can, I don't know if I can come in at that angle like that too much, but we'll try. Getting fuel through the fuel pump, but I still don't feel any going into that bowl. Oh no. Oh no. I dropped it down in there. I'll get it for you! Ugh. See? What I didn't do, and I put the air was.
was to uh, open the throttle up. Okay, gently, 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 gently. Now let's screw that back in. And I still didn't feel any gas really going in anything. So I would imagine this old rape was going to have to come off here. Okay. Hooked up. Okay. Don't hurt to try. Don't hurt to try. Oh, maybe we got something.
pretty hot now. Okay. It, uh, I saw no water discharge either at the uh, pee hole or the blubber hole. Now, I will say this, my tank is a little low on water, but I lowered it down in there all the way that I could. That's pretty low. And yeah, it should have been pumping. So, the impeller or either the T-stat or both are full of yuck. And, uh, or there's a clog or something like that. And you can see the tiller handle. Boy, I don't know. I hope I have that bracket. Um, yeah. The little power head is obviously good. And the little hack with the air and the cover cleaner unplugged it and got her going. So, um, yeah, that little hack often works. Um, I find rather than removing the whole carb, don't get me wrong, the carb will come off of here and be cleaned properly. But that's a hack just to see what it's going to do. And uh, as long as I had it running, get that flywheel all cleaned up. Yucky and pretty. But she needs a lot. I'll be back. I'm out of water. Well, this video here, um, we were just basically a facts check assessing uh, the damage that we could see right off the bat, that tiller handle bracket piece and all. Um, I've looked out there, I do have a donor motor that I can pull the parts off of, uh, or at least that one um, handle bracket that the tiller mounts to that's got to be replaced and since the thing was just overall so dirty not pumping water um, it's been abused they got away with it outboard abuse I'm gonna have to go see Fred get me some counseling all the abuse, it's not right. This one's been abused hard. Oh, so, yeah, that's that's what this video was. Um, there'll be some hacks along the way, that's for sure. And uh, it's getting a little late, getting a little long. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one. And as always... That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.